fire, fire I like to see how you move, darling Oh, baby, please, you look so flawless mm -hmm. Wanna know all your secrets hiding I wanna be part of your life, yeah Let me be something more than friends Do la la gang, what it do, yeah. What it do, what it do, la la gang. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed, and staying productive. Happy Monday, okay. I am doing good, doing great, blessed, and staying productive. Um, drama, 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 drama everywhere. That's all I'm going to say. It's so much drama. I can't even keep up with everything. I'm just like, well, you know, I mean, well. Um, I know I had got the information sent to me over about Chrissy and her situation and and Rod. And, and, and I said to myself, you know, I just shook my head on it, you know, because... I mean, I don't know, you know, and I don't even know what to say. All I can say is, you know, a lot of people, and this is a lot of my subs, and a lot of people even told me, even when I got on here and I said, well, Chrissy is changing. She is turning her channel around. She is trying to do different because she wants the reactors to be off of her. She wants the, the reactors to not be on her neck anymore or on her dragging her about the things that she is doing. She is trying to do better, give better. I said that, okay? And also meeting this guy, okay? We There was way back when she first met him. I mean, there was mug shots of him and, and him putting his hands on whoever he put his hands on then. And we didn't know if it was her because I think it was um, a time... Before that they were together. Okay. Um, so I go like, okay. Then it comes to uh, when Olivia got on here and she spoke of what Jazz told her but saying about Chrissy. That also brought back, came back to me too. So to me, I felt like the information that was put out, how we tried to distinguish it and say everything was allowed, it was made up. I don't feel that everything that was said then when they was going back and forth, then all three of them, that it was a lie because JJ do know a lot, okay? Um, so that means when she was talking about Rod putting his hands, it could be, y'all. It could be. It could be so much true. But at the end of the day, okay, you can get on YouTube and, and, and you can make things look better. You can make it come across as being different. And I have changed and, and I'm in a great relationship now. And we, you know, we planning to get married and this and that. You can you can do that. That's why I'm going to say. You could do all of that. But when things are not right, when things are just not as how you want them to look in the social media eye, okay, in the YouTube street eye, when it's when it's when it's not like that, it's gonna always show somehow. And sometimes when it shows, you're not gonna be able to clear it up, okay? Because cer certain things that you do just not gonna add up. It's just not gonna make sense, okay? So when I got that sent to me, I was just like, wow, I really didn't know what to say because y'all really know I've been on my Hershey me and just a lot of women that deal with a lot of stuff, you know, just find your worth, know your worth, okay? Know what know what you are worth and especially when you have kids involved it's just certain things that you cannot no longer go through when you have so many other lives that you have to protect and look over you get what i'm saying you have to acknowledge and know who you are bringing in your space and who you bringing in your space around your kids um yes with that um 
I also seen a live where she had the face mask on. First thing came to me was, why does she got this face mask on? If you if if you chip your tooth or you broke the veneer with a with a Dorito, it's understandable, okay? You could pull it down. We can act normal. It's it's nothing new because you sat in front of us for a long time with your teeth rottening in the front, okay? And it was no problem. So what makes the situation different this time? Okay. And for that, I am going to say nothing is worth anybody putting their hands on you. That's all I'm going to say. Because at the end of the day, if it is true, okay, if it is true, it don't do nothing but get worse. And if y'all not even married yet, and this is what y'all already got going, what you think it's going to be when y'all just tied or not? It's going to be greater. Also, the moving situation. Really, in the background, you shouldn't be worried about it. if she's moving or not, or what's the real reason of her moving. But the thing of it is, when you have kids and you move in every year, that should be hard, okay? It should be hard because guess what? Your kids got to continue to bounce around. They can never be comfortable, okay? I feel like that's what's wrong with that. But being a mother and just trying to choose better and trying to have for your kids, I don't see shit wrong with her moving. It's the... it's. It's the kids not being able to enjoy and be comfortable. You don't think sometimes me staying here going on five years that I don't be want to move? I do. But then you have to take in consideration my kids have been at this school for a long time. They don't want to go to another school. This and that. It's just allowing them to be comfortable. Allowing them to keep their friends. Okay? And then allowing stability upon yourself. It shows no stability of you moving every freaking year. So if it means if you are renting and if the shit just does not work out, then that tells you what you need to do better. Okay? And it tells you all the money that I am spending on trying to keep a rent house from six months to a year, it is not working. I need to start trying to get my shit together, get my credit together, and guess what? Purchase point blank period and i'm saying that for anybody if you have to move every year because right now you're you just moved over there ain't got settled in too good now you're moving again now you got to do the same thing who says when you get in here you don't get settled in too good guess what you got to move again i feel like shit for anybody that's hard I'm just saying, and it doesn't it doesn't matter how you try to put it out of here and make it look the shit is rough Especially having nine kids. I'm just saying. Ain't no way you could sugarcoat that shit and say, well, hey, I just say shit is your option. If you want to move, it is your option. Nobody should have shit to say, but what you should have to say if you losing because guess what? You can't pay it or this or that. That should be a problem. But when you're trying to build a foundation or start a new foundation, somewhere you want to settle and start building stability. You get what I'm saying? Not only for you and your little fiance, but for your kids, especially your kids. All right. So let's zip across there. So JJ wants to pray for people. See, this is the thing. Okay. And I'm going to say this real quick. And, and yeah, I'm going to let the drummer have the drummer. But I want to know how is it that you can get on here, whatever she might be going through. Okay. Whatever she dealing with or whatever she going through. Okay. How do you get on here and want to say that you want to pray for her, okay? Now, if you was trying to do something out the kindness of your heart, so you say, this is what you say. Your heart is fucking pure. Your heart is not pure. Your heart is filled up with <coughs> pure shade. <coughs> pure shade. Per shade to once you throw the shade out here, you're not able to stand up and take accountability for what the fuck you said or how you put it. Everybody know that you was throwing shade, okay? We know that. Because if you was a true friend, okay, even even an ex-friend, okay? Did, let me say this. If you cool with somebody and y'all just fall off for whatever reason, right? If you are worried about her situation, because let me say this. We was once upon a time friends where we told each other both of our business, okay? Both of our business. I know a lot about her. She know a lot about me. I know what goes on with her. She know what goes on with me. Even though our friendship is fucked up, we don't talk this or that. 
I still know how to do if I'm doing something at the kindness of my heart. DM her, okay? Send her a message. You can't call her. Send her a message. That message shouldn't be for everybody, okay? So, <clears throat> if the message is not for everybody, nobody has shit to say. <clears throat> but how is it somebody that's dealing with their own issues and their own fucking problems and their own situations and trying to clear their shit right now and can get on here and say, you praying for somebody and praying that everything is okay with them. No, take the same prayer and pray for your whole fucking situation. But what got me was I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't accept no prayers from nobody neither that's letting a hefty ass dude, okay? Baby girls, confirmation. Rule the nation. <laughs> this is what I say. Confirmation rules the nation. See, when Chrissy get mad at you, JJ, she start throwing out a lot of stuff, okay? A lot of stuff that you cannot come on here and you cannot fucking clear up. You don't know how to clear up. Then you want to say she's lying. She is not lying, okay? I feel like she have no reason to lie. If she wanted to lie or store lies about you, she could have been done that. But she, she just... Throw out just a little bit, just enough to guess what? To rough up your fucking feathers. To guess what? To make you get on here and start saying some shit. Start saying some shit. <clears throat> because you know what's going on. That was it for me. Now it explains why it's okay for him to take the bath bombs. Because normally he's in there. He's bathing. He's helping. He's doing this and doing that. Things that he shouldn't do. Then she come back and say, well, she's lying. I don't I don't understand why she would lie like that. Trying to get the people to, you know, get from talking about her to back talking about me. <laughs> the people ain't never stop talking about you, JJ. Even if she got the situation that's going on with her and her and Rod or whatever that is and her moving house to house. None of that shit, okay? None of that shit is worser than what the fuck you got going on over here, okay? <clears throat> In your house, letting this guy bathe your girls. None of that shit is bad, okay? She a grown-ass woman. She can she can make decisions for herself if she want to stay in an abusive relationship, if he putting her hands, however that case may be. She is able to know, hey, I'm not ready to leave it right now. I'm okay with it. This is something that I like. This is something that I can settle for. She's okay with it. But when you have kids that cannot be okay because what they dumbass mother is allowing her no good ass boyfriend to do to them, that's something to always talk about and continue to talk about regardless, okay? Out of that whole conversation, that's the only thing that kind of crossed my mind. Bathing your girls. Now, I'm going to say this. JJ, you're going to let Olivia push your ass off the edge because you already there. You already out of here, Okay? But Olivia ain't got shit going. Olivia don't have nothing but time. Time and energy on the wrong shit. She can't even put that same time and that same energy into her kids trying to bring her kids home. Or, you know what I'm saying? Bring it where she can get her kids back. She can't do that, okay? But anything outside of that, she got time for. And especially you. Because I can start shit and push her where the fuck she Always weak, because she know you slow. She know you weak as fuck, because these are the words that came out of her mouth, okay? And we all know that. So you'll do anything to, yeah, get attention or at the spotlight. But what I be worried about is, shit, hefty hips. Why did he go to a vet all alone, but you sit here with this fake-ass ring on your finger? He couldn't even step out with you. He couldn't even bring you along. You're not even worth showing off. But you can sit here, sit here on live and want to talk shit, but you cannot talk shit to the one that's in your house doing the fucking most. But you want to get on here and talk about praying for somebody else in their situation when you got the biggest problem and situation over here. I'm just saying, it makes no sense. 
Use your prayers towards yourself. Use your prayers towards your kids. Use your prayers towards your household. And use your prayers towards Olivia. Because she's going to destroy you, even though you are already destroyed. She ain't got shit. And both of y'all two together, it, it looks bad, okay? It looks bad. Because how is you going to wish the best for somebody? There's somebody that is more, more, way more better off than you. You wishing her the best. You get what I'm saying? Chrissy is the one that came along and brought you up. Brought you a little something word. You get what I'm saying? You didn't bring her no fucking word. She been had her numbers. I'm just saying. But it's the shade. It's the shade for me. And, that, and it's coming really from the bottom feeders. And I can say, okay, she moving around. She is. She bouncing around. That ain't cool. But at least she's able to do whatever the fuck she got to do. Whatever she needs to do in that moment, she, she's doing it. Okay? Olivia, you couldn't even have the money together and give what you needed to give. So you say, JJ, you can't even have your money together to do what you need to do. Formula, can't do it. Everything is a handout. Dry begging. I'm just saying. And we know, I already know, Olivia has been having a problem with Chrissy for a long time. Jealousy. Jealousy of what? And there's no reason for you to get up here and feel like you have to be JJ Backbone. Shit, when you grown as fuck and you can get on here and you can you can throw out shade and you can throw out this and that, you, you, you can catch it in return. You don't need nobody to get on and speak for you. But see, that's what Olivia do. Okay? She like to keep it going. She like, she like that. Open opportunity. JJ can speak for her fucking self. Why Olivia don't get on here and defend her when we on here talking about hefty this and that? Olivia ain't defending you. She not defending you with, with your kids and what this guy is doing. But when it comes to Chrissy, let me defend her. If she a real friend, she'll defend you on all fucking levels. <laughs> that's real talk. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Dumber than dumb because that's what you being right now. And that's that same, that's that same chick that's over there playing like she pregnant, praying all this, gonna push your ass off the edge. I'm just saying, crazy. Praying for somebody. Pray for yourself. That's just like uplifting. You can't uplift nobody if you can't uplift yourself. You can't send positivity to no fucking body if you can't use that own shit on yourself first in your household, in your situation, with your kids. I'm just saying. I think they get a kick out of no. Oh, they back talking about Chrissy. Oh, did Chrissy get her ass beat? Oh, her so-called fiance is whooping her ass. Oh, whole conversation. But it's crazy because she ain't have shit to say when all this shit coming about your kids and, and hefty. She has shit to say. But what she did say is the reason why yeah, she don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> and then, you saying you want to pray for somebody. You praying for somebody. So, let me know. Why you didn't post saying you praying for Olivia when she lost her fucking kids? Why you didn't post praying for you, Olivia? <laughs> I think you should pray for her. Because wouldn't she be going through something at that time and at that moment? So wouldn't you post that for everybody to see? I'm just being a pure, kind-hearted person. And I want everybody to know, Pray, I'm praying for you in your situation or whatever it is. I'm just saying, right? Ain't that how we do that? But she didn't get that. She lost her kids. But, but being a, as a friend, you didn't give her that. So the shade. The shade. But see, JJ wouldn't be doing all this talking and doing all this shit if she didn't have Olivia right there. You get what I'm saying? Right there. Long as she feel like she got somebody that's standing with her, that's the only way she could do her talking. That's it. That's all. And for you to get mad because Chrissy is being cool with a reactor, so what? What's wrong with that? I mean, hey, if that's what it is, that's what it is. It shouldn't bother you. I'm just saying.
it's 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 the doing the dirt, but then try to come back like I'm just so innocent and I'm this and that and this fake ass facial expression that she is giving with these fucking blue blockers on. Anybody that's wearing blue blockers like they are regular wearing uh, eyeglasses, sea glasses, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, you can't take them serious. You can't believe shit they saying. Okay, you just can't. JJ talking about she praying for somebody. <laughs> Girl, pray, pray for Hefty. Pray for your kids. Very, I mean, pray for them. Okay, pray for your situation. Pray over everything in your house before you try to reach out and pray for somebody else that got whatever going on, whatever it may be, okay? I'm just saying. Because someone that is dealing with the same shit, just in a different form, different way, you can't pray for me. You can't pray for me when you need to pray your fucking self. You just can't. But oh, JJ, ha! Letting hefty babe your girls. That's the whole fucking no-no. I guess I need to add that to Philip Little Letter too, huh? I'm just saying. This shit is crazy. But see, Chrissy don't like Chris, okay? She don't. But there's a lot of things that go that went on and goes on that she actually she actually know. But the safe face for your ass, she does she does not say. She does not tell, okay? But I'm pretty sure. <coughs> She can agree with a lot of what we are saying because she knows, okay? And the crazy part is, how can we get on her and say the same shit that she already know and we're not even around you? You get what I'm saying? Make it make sense. And how Olivia, before you get on here and talk shit to anybody, you need to be talking that same shit in court. Trying to get your kids. I'm just saying. You need to be talking that same shit to some type of fucking therapist or psychiatrist. Okay? Because you're you out of there. Your mental is fucked all the way. Anybody can get on here and stage and play like they pregnant. And stage and play like they dating invisible people. You're sick in the head. So I guess that is why you and JJ are friends. Because both of y'all are mentally fucked up. I'm just saying. Mentally challenged, I would say. Bottom people <laughs> that ain't got shit going. I'm just saying. It makes no sense to me. But the question that you would ask both of them, okay? To JJ and Olivia. Why y'all so jealous of Chrissy? I mean, she got nine kids. She got nine kids and only stay in a house for about a year and moving here and there. But why y'all so jealous of her? I'm just saying, y'all y'all so stable. Y'all shit so together. Y'all relationship so... Why y'all so jealous of what the fuck she got going on? Why y'all so worried about what the fuck she got going? Hmm. Huh. I think struggling chicks that's barely making it. And I can say for Chris, at least she trying, y'all. I'm just going to say on my behalf, you know, I just hope that she is not allowing no guy to put his hands on her. Her hands on her, her kids, whoever, okay? <clears throat> I, just, I mean, that ain't cool. It ain't cool at all. And her kids, they need stability, okay? Moving from house to house, even though if you had the money to do it, it's not cool. Because your kids, they never can be fully comfortable, okay? Always got to move. It's really not a good look at all. And it says a whole lot about you. I'm just saying. I can't stand Olivia and I can't stand JJ. JJ just need to be snatched a couple times. And she only feeling herself right now because she got old nasty ho Olivia in her fucking ear. But nasty ho Olivia ain't gonna ain't gonna defend her on shit. She can only defend her towards Chrissy because guess what? Ho Olivia is so fucking jealous of Chrissy. It's it's <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. She can't take it. She can't stand it. But she has so much time and energy for the wrong shit. But I never understand. How do, how do you have so much time for this shit right here? The drama right here, but you don't have time to do that same shit for your kids. Do that same shit to hustle up whatever money you need for your kids. Bitch, you couldn't tell me shit. 
I'm just saying, you couldn't defend me on shit. Because if you can't defend your kids, how the fuck can you defend me as being a grown woman? I'm just saying. Y'all got life and bullshit fucked up. Real talk. And if I speak on everybody, I'm talking about all three of them. And that's just real talk. And if we really look at the situation, none of them is better than nobody. Okay? Because some... in 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 and and it look in all the situations somebody is lacking on something somebody is doing something absolutely wrong somebody can step some shit up to do different and do better i'm just saying but at the end of the day i'm gonna say again i would never need your prayer if your whole life is fucked up your whole household is fucked up you need to be on your knees praying for better praying for that not praying for me and what I got going. I'm just saying. Praying for one day, being able to walk out with your man and say he is your man. Okay? Letting him put you put you in the <laughs> put you in the spotlight. Show what he got. He ain't showing you on shit. I'm just saying. But this is your hubby. You put him on display, but he displays nothing of fucking you. I'm just saying. Get your kids first. Make sure your kids straight. Before you get on here and talk shit or try to defend anybody. If you're not strong enough and woman enough and mother enough to defend your kids, to have your kids in your household, to move where you need to be, to be for your kids, bitch, you can't tell me shit. You need to go sit in a corner and shut the fuck up. I'm just saying. And sometimes I be asking myself as a reactor, what the fuck, why? Some of this shit it does not be worth talking about because this shit is crazy. These chicks is sad as fuck. And it doesn't matter year after year after year. The shit does not get better. We are ready at 2022 and none of the shit has got better. None of it. Okay. And I try to give Christy that pat on the back because it looked good. Okay. It looked good. Stability looked good. Husband looked good. Me, not husband, fiance. Get, that's a new level. Of her trying to level up. But is it is it leveling up? Or is it just going backwards? Okay? That's what you have to ask yourself. Because y'all did get once upon once upon a time get on here and make a video talking about trying to make a baby. How can you be on here and trying hard and want to display making a baby, but you don't have stability set in place yet? I'm just saying. So it's like, what's really going on? You know, we could put out that we're moving different and doing different. But is that just what you're showing on display? But behind the scenes, the shit is still fucked up all the way around. I'm just saying. I think at the end of the day, having kids, all of them have been through enough. The kids have been through enough. Moving here and there, the kids have been through enough. Seeing different guys, the kids have been through enough. Sometimes take just your focus and put it on your kids. Not worried about shit else. I'm just saying. The shit is fucking nonsense to me. Because the shit gets no better. No matter how you put it out here for it to look, none of it gets better. At the end of the day, it's like this is what you show us, but shit is still fucked up. Somewhere, your shit is still fucked up. JJ, your shit is always fucked up. Olivia. Sad ass. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, y'all already know what to do. Throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I ask that you do do, okay? Do 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 subscribe. Not doing coffee here and there, y'all. I wasn't going to even hop on, but I want to say that, though. I want to really say that about trying to pray for somebody when you need to pray for yourself. When your shit is fucked up, how can you want to pray for me like your shit is better than mine? And just to be honest, looking at it, your shit is no better than mine. So how can you pray for me? Okay? At the end of the day, I'm not giving pats on the back to nobody. Because if you look at all three of these females, and I'm just being dead ass honest, y'all. They all still, they all have problems. They all struggling. I don't care if you are revamping and you trying to turn it around. You can try to do that. But if somewhere in your foundation, your shit is still fucked up, it's still problems, it still look bad. 
It looks bad. It looks bad when you have kids and you have to continue to move here and there. The kids can't even settle in good enough, build friendships. Then they have to move again. That does not look good, okay? When you bring a guy in around your kids and you are trying to build and level up with him and certain situations is going on and now, you know, it's out here that, hey, it looks like he is putting his hands on me, but that you still don't want that on your name or want that behind you. So I would say something there is still fucked up, okay? And that's it, that's all. Peace. Dancing, dancing the fire, fire I like to see how you move, darling But oh, baby, please, you look so flawless mm -hmm. Wanna know all your secrets hiding I wanna be part of your life, yeah Let me be something more than friends mm -hmm.